Well, it's finally here. I know you're probably thinking, Don, when are you going to do this golf course video? Because I've been talking about the Monte Cristi Golf Resort for quite some time. And it's been slow getting it put together. And I had a great interview with the general manager, Juan Serrano. And I'm going to share that with you in just a moment. Hey! Oh, Rocket Chick. Hello there. So I'm sitting here at the Monte Cristi Golf Course here in Ecuador, here outside of Monta. The only really pro golf course around here is the only golf course around here that I know of. And I'm talking to the general manager, Mr. Juan Zarado. He, how long have you been here? Uh, I've been here for eight, eight years already. Eight years. How, eight long years. Is, how long has the golf course been? The golf course has been open. The, well, first of all, welcome everybody and, uh, to Monte Cristi Golf Resort and Villas the first uh, public golf course in Ecuador mm -hmm. and the only one from the, the first one and the only one of, uh, of Manabí, but now we have two, uh, one, 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 one other um, uh, being built. Being, uh, where is it? Uh, that's in Costajama. They have nine homes already. Really? Yeah. I don't know if they're going to get to 18, but, but they're going to, they're going to have, they have already nine homes. Very nice, very nice project. Sure. Pretty much like this. So, yeah, I've been um, eight years here. Uh, the golf course opened its 18 golf holes uh, the 17th of December of 2017. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the first time we played. We actually, we had a tournament and we played 18 holes. Uh, it took, we started building in 2012. Uh, we had like, uh, we had nine holes by the, by the first month of 2015. And then we finished the whole golf course and on, on, on December of 2017. Okay. So, it, not only do you, is it a golf course, but you can also build a house here too, right? So, I noticed when I was here last week that I flew my drone up and I noticed tracks, you know, where there's lots of room, lots of space to build properties here. How many members do you have right now? Do you know? At the moment, uh, well, we have this is like a publicitary stunt. It's not a membership because you're not a stockholder or something mm -hmm. like that. It's just like like, like a all you can play product. Okay. Okay. So you pay your entry fee and everything. So we are, at the moment we're like forty five. Okay. Uh, but we have regulars and we have another product which is like prepaid rounds that they you, the people use that very okay. much. Regarding the lots, is uh, yeah, we, we we still have a lot of a lot of uh, land. Actually, we own uh, 1,005 hectares, okay. uh, and we own a property of four, four hectares in Jaramijo, which is beachfront. And um, yeah, you can build your house here. You can buy a lot, very nice lot for uh, $60,000, which is cheap. Yeah. You know? the, the, the smallest lot is 542 square meters, wow. and that will go for 55000 60000 It depends on where, where you are. And building a house here can be cheap as well. We have people that have bought their, their lot, that are uh, just a couple, let's say, and uh, they bought a lot for $55,000 and, and they built a really nice home for $90,000. Okay. So for $145,000, you will have a very, very, very nice home looking at the golf course. Yes, absolutely. And it's the full 18 hole golf course. I noticed that you have a swimming pool out here, you have tennis courts, you have a driving range, you have putting green, all of which I'm doing footage of before I leave here today. As far as pricing and so forth, is, if it's okay with you, when I publish this video, I'll put a, I, I have a PDF that shows, explains all the pricing, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm gonna put that in, a link to it in Google Docs, okay, so that people can just go and get the link. And if they have any questions about it, then of course we want them to talk to you, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. So I'll put, be sure and put your information in the description, all your contact information. I'll also, uh, for the benefit of the expats that are coming here, it'll be nice to know that you speak English as, as well as, very well, okay? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Better than I speak Spanish, that's for sure. Um, what else can you do out here? I mean, I noticed there's, there's other activities that you offer here, right? I, did, I noticed there's a tennis court. Okay, now, we just uh, did the, uh, in October, we opened the, the sports center, let's say, okay? okay? We call it Centro Deportivo in Spanish. 
which has two paddle courts, the, 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 be, the best and the first uh, drop shot paddle courts in Ecuador, okay. which the, that's the, the best brand in, in, in the world. Mm -hmm. um, we have a tennis court, a uh, beach tennis court, okay. you know, uh, beach volley. Baseball. We have a multi-use uh, court, which is basketball, like a uh, little soccer. Uh, and then we have pickleball. Okay. We have pickleball. Yeah. Uh, and we have a soccer pitch, which is like for seven and seven. For You can play seven against seven. Yeah. And it's very nice because that's, uh, that's made with the FIFA. Um, um, how do you say it? With the FIFA... Uh, for for building uh, grass courts, you know, mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. that's that's done with the with the FIFA requirements. Okay. Okay. So it's very nice. It's very friendly to to, to for the players or the knees especially. Uh, it's very soft. And um, then you have the driving range that you can use yeah. at night. You can yeah. use it until nine at night. Oh wow! Um, and keep in mind, everybody gets dark here at six thirty. Yeah, six thirty, six forty-five. It's it yeah. gets darker. But if you want to come and grab a beer, you can have a beer at the 19 hole. You can hit some balls. You can use one of our two putting greens that we have. Mm -hmm. um, they, are, they are lit as well. They, they have lights. Um, so for us, the, the, the prerogative of, of this place is for the family to come out here mm -hmm. and spend the whole day. So if you're, if you're a racket player, let's say tennis or, or mm -hmm. paddle, you can play a racket for a sport. If you are like a soccer player, you can play soccer. Mm -hmm. If you want volleyball, if you want beach tennis, if you want pickleball, if you want a uh, golf, if you want... So we have everything here. And the most important thing to know is that we are open to the public. Okay. We're not a private club. We're not a club. Okay. We're a resort. All right. So everyone can yeah. come and use the facilities here, including the pool. As soon as you come over here, you play paddle, you can use the pool. Whatever consumption that you have here in the restaurant or the 19 hall or golf or whatever gives you gives you gives you the right to use the pool. Yeah. Uh, we have very good bathroom and restrooms and changing rooms. Um, and you have good restaurants too. We have we have very good restaurants, which is the 19 hall, which is like a snack bar, yeah. which was created for the sport the sport part, you know. Mm -hmm. So we have hamburgers, ceviches, and very 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 nice and good uh, plates, you know. But they are more simpler. And then we have the 19 hall, which is a fine dining or fine lunching, as I call it, because we just open from 11.30 in the morning yeah. until 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, and we're, we're thinking about opening at, at, at night on, Friday, on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. But that's, that's we're going step by step, you know, sure, so sure. it's going to take a little bit to, to make that decision. Now, how does word get out that you're here? Do you guys advertise? Okay, we, we're, we're on every social media. Okay. The, we got used to, to mouth to mouth, you know, mm -hmm. publicity, and which is bad because we have to invest in, 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 in getting, getting us to get known all around the world because this is a worldly place, you know. Sure. Um, so now we're, we're going to start spending 2% of the budget or the income mm -hmm. of every place, the, the sports, restaurant, we're going to spend 2% in publicity. Okay. And he has been working pretty good because we have in, in the restaurant, we have a brunch every Sunday and we're having like 200 people, 250 people every Sunday. Oh. So that's, that's very, very, very good. Very yeah, good. that is very good. Yeah. I've heard that the food is excellent. And the food is really, really good. Well, here in Manabi is like you, you won't, you won't see any places with bad food, to be honest. Uh, the agree. food here is, 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 is really good everywhere. Yeah. And it's so, it's so from this place that it's, it's not that hard to create some new stuff. Right. The new restaurant, well, we, we just opened last year because we had to close for the pandemic because of the pandemic. Um, we have uh, new plates that are very, very good mm -hmm. and, and they're like, very flavory. And they're made with a lot of things or ingredients that are from here, from Adam. So... So in the United States, there is a sport they use. There are some golf courts, course, courses, I don't, not all of them, but there are some golf courses that they will take a, a certain day or a couple of days out of the month and they basically close it for golf. And what they do is they use the golf course and they, they play with Frisbees. Yeah. I don't know what they call that. I've seen that. I've seen yeah. that, but they, they pretty much stop using golf courses. Yes. And now they're using, using like contours in, in, in the forest or something. Yeah, they have I baskets think, and you have yeah, to throw yeah, the frisbee yeah, into yeah. the... I've seen, I've seen that. Um, 
I'm not a very a big fan because yeah. I'm not going to use my golf course to, to right. do that or close it to, yeah. to, to, to do that because the golfers want to sure. play golf. Sure. Um, but anyway, we tried that actually in the driving range once. Mm -hmm. And we thought about putting like two or three baskets, you know, so yeah. we have a par four, a par three, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a par and a par, and a par two or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, we had some people here, but then uh, asking, the, asking the, the, the people that come around here, would you be interested? They say like, not at all. It's like, we, we have golf already. Yeah. So it's like, no, we don't, we don't want to play Frisbee golf. Yeah. So in terms of demographics, how, who, who's, who do you see here mostly? Do you see Ecuadorians or mostly expats? Or? We, we see mostly expats and we see the Ecuadorians that live around here mm -hmm. and the business, the business people that come for lunch that, 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 that own, that own the, the, the companies around here. Yeah. But in golf, 93% uh, of my clients are experts, okay. which is very, very good because um, I really like to have like international people or, sure. or, or, or stuff like that here. Sure. Uh, sadly, all of my Ecuadorian golfers, they had to leave because of different situations. You know, the pandemic was very, very yeah. hard on, 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 on Ecuador yeah. uh, because people stopped producing. Sure. So when you stop producing, it's like the income stops flowing. So they had to leave, some, some, some left to Quito, some others to Guayaquil, some others abroad. Um, so now we just have like three or four Ecuadorian members, yeah. but all the rest is, is expats. expats yeah. And there's a big influx of expats coming to Monte. There are a lot of people coming here. I hear from them all the time on my channel. Yeah. And, and I get a lot of questions about golf. It's, golf is a favorite sport in North America. As I'm sure you know, mm -hmm. so uh, well. Hopefully, this video will help bring some more in, and hopefully, we we'll get some people to come in here and want to develop some property and build some houses and live here. I wouldn't be opposed. Personally, myself, I would rather live on a golf course than I would on the beach. Yeah. Tell you the truth, I lived on one for 13 years in the United States, and never played around a golf. Yeah, well, well, so. that's, that's, that's. <laughs> If you see our friends Phil and Sue Jordan that put us in contact, uh, yeah. they've been living here for six months. They play golf every day. Yeah. They're the happiest couple I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they are very happy. They are building their house. Yeah. So that's 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 the dream actually. Yeah. And security, which is very important to talk about it. Yes. Security here in Monte Cristi, everything. We have guards, we have everything, everything is secluded. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a closed community. Um so it's like you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have service. You have service everywhere. If you're living yeah. in your house and you want to grab a hamburger real quick, you come over here to the 19 hall. Yeah. Or you can ask and they, they might bring it to you. Sure. You know, so anybody will do anything for a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly, basically. Exactly. And it's yeah. very comfortable. Sure. And Manta is the city that has the most progress now yes, in Ecuador. It's very much and developing, growing. For you to know, the actual uh, Minister of Public. Uh, Construction mm -hmm. was the general manager here. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. So, and he's from Manabí, so he's he's trying to do uh, the best things for Manabí because Manabí was forgotten by other governments. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. And after the earthquake, we had a big problem with the government because they pretty much took everything from from sure. from, from the Manabí people. So now uh, the airport is is, is 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 working. They already closed the deal with a. Uh, Direct flights to Galapagos, yep. and they are closing the deals to direct flights to Panama. And, and whenever yes. you get to Panama, or you you, you are in, in, on side of Panama, yeah. you are in the middle of the world already. Sure, you can you can get from Manta, Panama, Panama, Miami, Houston. If you want to go to Europe, you can go to Europe. You know, yeah, so absolutely. Yeah. That's going to put us on the map, yeah, or make us bigger on the map. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and I've seen people. Uh, from Cuenca, Cuenca is unbelievable. It's very nice, but but they like the weather here. We have yeah. we have very good weather here, beach weather. And when it's like not not beach season, let's say, or it's not that hot, it's very very nice. Yeah. So now, w when is the cooler season here? Right now, we're considered the summertime. Now is when it's very hot. It, now it's, it's the cool yeah. season. I call is it very from warm. May, May <laughs> until August. Okay. Let's say. All right. And then yeah. September, October, it, gets, it starts getting a little bit warmer, but not that warm. Now January, February, March, and April they are very, very hot, and then we have rain. Okay. We have we have some rain, but usually here in Manta is very little. Yeah. It's not uncomfortable, you know. Right. Right. 
Well, uh, it's a well-known fact that Monza is very much a developing city. There's so much growth going on. There are so many people that are moving here. You guys have a, a really great future here, I, I believe. So we want to definitely get the word out. Okay. So I'm going to put all the information in the description. I will put your uh, everything that's in your brochure. Okay. I'll put that in the description. I'll put a link to the actual PDF that shows all the prices and everything. I'll put a link to that in Google Docs so everybody can have access to it. And hopefully you'll get some new uh, some new customers. That's, that's you know? amazing so. because uh, we're here to for long. Sure. We're here sure. for a long time. We're, right. we're, 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 you the, better the company, be. That's a big the investment. Company, the more company is, is yeah. investing in this and they know that it's a really good thing to have. Yeah, and you know, I know, I just thought of a question, Juan. Somebody asked me one time, if somebody comes here and buys a membership to this golf course, can they use that membership in one of the other cities? No. Golf courses. Okay, so it's only here. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, all right. But if you become a part of the Golf Federation, mm -hmm. you get affiliated to the Golf Federation, which is 80 bucks a year. Okay. You get two green fee gratis. Uh, for for free, okay. Uh, either in the in the Highlands, which is Quito or yeah. Cuenca, or yeah. in Guayaquil, uh, whatever you want. So okay. we have one in, in in the Highlands and another one in Guayaquil. Okay. So you have yeah, just for eighty bucks a year, and then you have your handicap every day. Sure. Uh, you can play the national tournaments. Uh, it's, it's very good. It's very good. Have you had any tournaments here yet? Yes. Have yes. You? We have had. Uh, we stopped doing the national tournament because of the pandemic, but yes. we're going to do it again this year. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to become the president of the Ecuadorian Golf Federation in Good. February. Good. So Good. yeah, it's like my, my, my okay. commitment. I have to do the tournament here where I manage the, the golf course and the, and, the, and the golf resort, you know. So we might have it in May national tournament. It's going to show up maybe eighty or ninety people, mm -hmm. and. Um, it's going to be amazing. It has always been amazing. The golf course is in a very, very good shape. We we'll always keep it like that. Good. Very, good. very good shape. Uh, and it's very, very, very nice. Okay. Okay. I can't think of anything. Is there anything you want to say that... that Only that haven't... everybody's welcome. They we're open to the public. We, you, you don't need to be a, a member uh, or, or, or own property. So you can come and eat, play golf, play paddle, play tennis, play Swim. pickleball, use the pool. Uh, and have a really, really fun time with your family. You can meet your friends here. We have a lot of ex expats here. So uh, this is a very, very good meeting point. We have two amazing restaurants. One is like a snack bar and the other one is a fine lunching, as I call it. So come here and enjoy. Enjoy okay. because this is, this is for you guys. Okay. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Don. Okay. So that's it. That was uh, my talk with Juan. We talked about a lot of stuff about the golf course, even that off of the video. There's a great future for this golf course. There's a lot of land up there for sale. There's lots for sale. You can build a house there, like you said, for sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. I mean, you can, oh, you can have a, a a a lot right on the golf course, and a house. You can build a house on it, your house, for less than two hundred thousand dollars easily probably a lot less or you can spend a lot more i know it's not right on the beach it's not on the coast but it's close enough to monta and i you know i i, I don't see anything wrong with it unless you're just got to be like right on the coast but anyway that was it if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section or you can send me an email and if you like this video smash that like thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me. And I say that with peace and love. So until the next one, ciao, ciao.